Hello, my name is Jason Brown. I'm a 16 year old student at Wyndham High Academy in Norfolk, England, and I'm part of their O team. And today I'm going to be upgrading this machine from Windows 7 to Windows 8.1, and I'm going to explain how to do it. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is if you are a member at Wyndham High Academy, you can go onto our DreamSpark store and you can download Windows 8.1 Pro for free and also uh, £50,000 worth of other Microsoft software. I'm just putting that out there since you may or may not be interested in that. So when you download Windows 8.1, which I have already done, you're going to notice that you're downloading a file that looks a little bit like this. It's a disk image file that's about 3.8 gigabytes in size. Now what is the disk image file? Basically this file contains the contents of the Windows 8.1 DVD in one file so that makes it really nice and easy and convenient to download. But in order to install Windows 8.1 what you need to do is burn this file to a DVD. Now you can pick up a uh, DVD um, at any stationery store or a computer store a lot of you may already have them, just a blank 4.7 gigabyte DVD is all you're going to need in order to burn this ISO to it. So if you have Windows 7 like I do or Windows 8, you can right click on this file, you can select burn image disk because Windows 7 and Windows 8 already have a image burner in them. You would just simply select the drive that your disk burner is, in most computers it's drive D, and then you would click burn and I'm not going to do it because I don't have a DVD in the drive. So that would be how you do it on Windows 7 or Windows 8. If you currently have Windows XP or Vista installed on your computer, you will notice that if you try to right click on the ISO file to burn it to a DVD, there won't be the option to. This is because to burn ISO files with XP and Vista, or older, you will need to download software to burn images since these operating systems don't include an image burner like 7 and 8 do. What I recommend you do is download and install CD Burner XP or Image Burn. These are free programs that you can use to burn the ISO image. Download links to these programs will be in the video description below. Once you've installed one of these programs, you can right click on the ISO image, go to properties and then make the program you downloaded and installed the default one for opening ISO files. Then what you can do is double click on the ISO file to open it then click burn or similar in the program you installed to burn the ISO image to a DVD. And then once you've burned the ISO to a DVD, you can put the DVD into your computer and you're gonna get an autoplay menu that looks something a little bit like this come up. It's gonna have a really wacky name for the DVD. So you're just gonna click run setup.exe to begin Windows 8.1 setup. And if, like me, you get a UAC window, just click yes, and then move right along. Okay then, so once setup has um, initialized, you're gonna get something a little bit like this. Now, it's gonna ask if you wanna download and install the latest updates. On this occasion, I'm just gonna click no, and then I'm gonna click next. The reason I click no is because it's gonna speed up installation if you don't have to download all those updates. You can do that once you have uh, installed Windows. Now, you're then gonna need to type in your product key for Windows 8.1. The product key is something that you should only use for personal use. You shouldn't post it on the internet because it will be directly traceable to our school and we will take the product key off you. Now the product key will be included when you download Windows 8.1 from DreamSpark. It, there will be a little window telling you what the product key is. So I'm just going to go and type in my product key and then accept the license terms after having read every single line of it and we'll just move on. Now, this is where the tricky bit comes in. Remember that we have two types of installation option for Windows. We either have upgrade and we have custom. Now, basically the upgrade option is gonna keep all of your programs and all of your documents and all of your settings, but I would recommend backing them up anyway. 
So if I were to uh, choose to upgrade Windows, I would still have Office 2010 installed, I still have Photoshop installed, I have Chrome installed, and Firefox, and all of the other stuff I have here. Now, if I'm going to do a custom advanced install, and in which case I would click nothing, then that would mean that I would lose everything. The drive would be completely wiped and a fresh install of Windows 8 would be installed. Now, if you have access to uh, installation media for all of your software and can easily reinstall it, and if you uh, back up your files, I would highly recommend that you do a fresh install of Windows because 99 times out of 10 it always comes out better. But if you want to do upgrade, then that's up to you. If you're unsure about what to do, leave a comment or come and talk to us at school and we can uh, help you decide. Or you can click this little button here that says help you decide. So we're going to click next and this is going to do a completely custom install of Windows. And setup is just going to make sure that I'm ready to install Windows 8.1. Now, if you're upgrading from an install of Windows 7 Ultimate like I am, which included language options and things like that, then it's going to come up and say that you'll have to add them back in Windows 8.1 because that's something that Windows 7 Ultimate included that Windows 8.1 doesn't. But if you're upgrading from something like Windows 7 Home Premium or Windows 7 Professional, that shouldn't be a problem. So in order to rectify that, we can just click OK. And... Uh, you just need to make sure that you um, have everything that you want to do. So we're going to install Windows 8.1 Pro and we're not going to keep anything. We're going to do a completely custom installation of Windows. That's going to wipe everything on this computer and it's going to install Windows 8.1 Pro over the existing Windows 7 Ultimate. So we can click install and that is going to install Windows 8.1 Pro on this computer. Now, as it says up here, your PC will restart several times and this may take a while. On a fast computer, Windows 8.1 will install in about 10 minutes. On a slower computer, maybe half an hour. It's a very quick installation of Windows. It certainly doesn't take very long at all. So stand by and wait. Okay, and when your installation gets to about 100%, it's gonna say that your PC is gonna need to restart. So just wait whilst it does that. Okay, so once your computer has rebooted, you're going to see something that looks a little bit like this. You're going to notice that uh, you have the new Windows 8.1 logo, and it's going to say that Setup is doing some things. It doesn't actually say what at this point in time though, but just bear with it, it will be uh, finished soon. Okay then, and once that's done, you'll see your computer boot into Windows 8.1. And it will begin to get the devices ready. This shouldn't take too long, maybe a minute or two. Okay then, so now you need to select your regional language options. Um, by default it should be uh, English United Kingdom. It probably uses the same settings that you had for the installation of Windows before this. So we can just go ahead and click on Next. And then it's going to take us through a few settings. So here you can change the uh, accent colour of Windows, you can select any colour you want, doesn't really matter. Let's go with green and then let's give this computer a name. Uh, let's just call this Windows 8, that should be fine. And then we're going to click next, use the express settings just for convenience sake. And now you're going to set up a OneDrive account which you're going to log into your computer with. Okay, now you can sign into your Microsoft account with your Wattnet email address like I just did. Now it's going to ask if you, um, you know, you want to verify this and make sure and you have your phone number here and that. But um, just select I can't do this at this time just to make the installation go a little bit quicker. I will just say that if you're not connected to the internet whilst you're installing Windows then it won't ask you for a OneDrive account or SkyDrive. Now I'm just going to click next to this because I want to have the SkyDrive stuff set up on my account and here it is. So it's now configuring Windows 8.1 to tailor for my OneNet email account. So we'll just wait whilst it does that. And now it's finalizing my settings. We should be booting to the desktop quite soon.
So we're just going through a very quick little tutorial here which you can watch if you want. Just beware though that the colours uh, make you a little bit sick after a while after watching them. <laughs> So once that's done, we're booted into the desktop and we have now upgraded this machine from Windows 7 Ultimate to Windows 8.1 Pro thanks to DreamSpark. So that's how you can do the same on your computer. It's relatively straightforward and as you can see we've now got Windows 8 running absolutely brilliantly on here. So thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it helpful.